Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to disable syncing on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So a couple different ways we're going to go about it and just make sure that we disable syncing between different computers on your network. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the search menu, type in control panel, best match, or come back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. In the view by section, go ahead and click on the drop down and select large icons. And then you want to select sync center. On the left side, select where it says manage offline files. And you want to select where it says disable offline files. So use offline files to keep copies on your computer or files stored on the network. This will allow you to work with them even when you're not connected or a server is unavailable. Go ahead and disable that. Select OK. You will need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect, but I'm going to select no for right now because there's one more thing we need to do. And we're going to now go to Network and Sharing Center and select Change Advanced Sharing Settings. And make sure Network Discovery as well as File and Printer Sharing are both turned off. And you want to expand private networks as well. You may want to uncheck that option as well so your PC can find and be found by other devices on the network. It's just completely turning everything off. You may want to turn some of the stuff on depending on your preference, but generally speaking, we're just going to be turning off syncing between other devices. It probably is good just to turn off the sharing settings as well. It's more of a supplemental thing, honestly, just going into here. Turning off the sync feature was the first method we went through, and this is kind of just a supplemental in here. So pretty straightforward. If you have a OneDrive, that's a different story. You'd have to disable OneDrive syncing or delete or disable it altogether, but that's a different topic for another day. I mean, because you can make a video about Dropbox or any other sort of file management application for your computer. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. Do about as able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.